Hello everyone, welcome to Photoshop Simplified. Today we're going to be learning about editing in Camera Raw. The first thing I do is adjust the white balance of my image by going to the white balance menu. You can cycle through to auto, daylight, cloudy, you have a lot of different options. Generally auto works pretty well. And you can also fine tune it using the temperature slider. You can pull it up to give a warmer image, pull it down to give it a cooler look. Now when editing a landscape photograph, the first thing I'll do in my basic panel is pull up my shadows and pull down my highlights. So we'll go to the shadow slider, and pull that up, and you'll really see the foreground start to fill in. Next we'll go to the highlight slider, pull that down, and recover any parts of the image that may start getting blown out. Now what we've done here is created a really flat image, so let's add a little bit of contrast in. And then let's set our white point. We simply click the Alt key, hold it down and drag the whites up until we start seeing parts of the image where it's starting to become blown out. And once you see that, you want to stop. And then for the black, Alt-click and pull down until you start seeing parts of the image that are becoming too dark. Next, let's add a little bit of clarity. And this will add some sharpness and some contrast to your image. And then also pull up the vibrance. This will add a little bit of color. Generally stay away from saturation, it makes too great of a change. Now using the zoom tool, let's zoom into part of the image. And let's go into the detail panel, and here we'll add a little bit of luminance noise reduction to give the image a smoother look, and we can also sharpen a little bit. Now you'll notice due to the wide angle, the telephone poles are sort of leaning in on each other and that's because of lens distortion. So next thing we're going to do is go into our lens corrections and we're going to enable profile correction. And that'll help straighten out the angle of your image a little bit. Oftentimes you'll have strange colors around the edges of objects. To get rid of this, click remove chromatic aberration. And you'll notice those colors sort of disappear. Zoom out, we can right click, click fit and view. So the lens profile correction helped a little bit, but it didn't quite do it all the way. So we're going to want to zoom back into these poles. We can click and drag a box out. And we're going to go to this new feature called Guided Upright. What we're going to do is pick two vertical lines and we're going to click and drag on those. And just line up the angles they're at. Next, draw a horizontal line. And you'll see now the poles are completely upright. So let's zoom out. And as we can see, this did quite a bit of distortion to the top of the sky compared to where we were when we started. So clicking on the guided upright, and go back in and add a little bit more distortion back. And you can even add a little horizontal. It almost turns the image on a 3D axis. And we can also scale up so we can prepare to crop. We can move it left or right. And we can even move it up. So let's go into the crop feature. And we'll just click and drag our crop out. And I always tell people keep your crop on 2 to 3. And this will be photo ratio, so you won't have any strange crops coming out of the gate. and then hit enter to apply the crop. So here's our adjustment from where we started with the image and where we are now. Now personally I think this part of the image up here is a little bit too bright and it kind of distracts from the lightning hitting down the road. So if I just want to make an adjustment to a certain part of an image. I go to the adjustment brush. And you just paint a little area on here. 
and then you can take the exposure down. And you can make all those same adjustments we made in our basic panel, including contrast, and highlights, and shadows. So if you have a part of your image that's giving you trouble and you don't want to alter the rest of your image, this is a great feature to use that you can just affect this one part of the image. So if you got any dust spots on your camera, this is a great time to get rid of them. You can use the spot removal feature. And if you go down here, you can click visualize spots. And it starts to become pretty easy to visualize where all these spots are in, within your image. So you just click and it'll pick a similar part of the image to replace them with. See there's one down here. Alright, so I think it's probably just a little bit bright from some of the corrections we did, so I'll just use the exposure and pull that down a little bit. And there's our edit in Camera Raw, so you can see where we started and where we are now. So let's just open the image up into Photoshop.